how is Webflow for SEO versus WordPress? Um, I think Nick is a is a has a passionate answer about this one. Maybe not passionate, but no, I don't know what I don't really know. I'm not familiar with Webflow. Well, just using anything other than WordPress. <laughs> Well, yeah, but that's not to say, I mean, like, I don't, I just don't know. I'm assuming it's probably like, you know, when I look it up, Wix and Weebly and stuff like that come up. So I'm guessing it's just like another one of these template kind of responsive yeah. websites. Anyhow, um, what I've come to find is out of everything that I've tried over the years, everything that I've worked with, everything that I've seen clients work with, WordPress is the most adaptive, best thing to use if you're, you know, really playing this game for the purposes of SEO. Um, so looking briefly into Webflow, you know, it's a no code site builder, et cetera. My guess is you're going to run in the same issues that you run in um, with a lot of these kind of web builders, which is a lack of functionality that allow you to really go after what you're, you know, going to target in the SERPs versus something like WordPress. Where, yeah, you're probably going to have to put in a little bit more time to learn WordPress to, to kind of figure out what makes it, you know, tick in the SERPs. Um, but once you do, then you've created a recipe that you can use across, you know, countless projects over time. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, when it comes to adaptability and buildability um, for the purpose of targeting SERPs, I would just always recommend um WordPress, quite honestly. Um, I've even done a few HTML sites, and quite honestly, it always just ends up um, a mess uh, because then you've got to rely on other people to do your work for you. And um, if you've done a lot of work with coders that especially are freelance, um, then you've probably run into um, time issues and stuff like that um, in your search to, to doing those kinds of things. So, yeah, WordPress, in my opinion, uh, just the way to go. Yeah, um, I, I completely agree. Our answer is pretty much the same uh, when it comes to should I use blah, blah, blah instead of WordPress? Or, you know, should I use Wix? Should I use Weebly? I, or whatever, not Weebly. But should I use anything other than WordPress? And uh, the answer we're, we're pretty much always going to give is no. And it's exactly for what Nick said. It's just, it's the functionality. Um, just everyone's on WordPress. Um, you know, you you know for a fact you're not going to be restricted from making certain changes that can be very beneficial to your SEO. Um, you're not going to have to learn some weird system just for this one weird one site, and then every other site you work on be completely different. Uh, when you're looking for support online, if you have a question, you'll be able to find it very easy for WordPress because there's millions of people asking the same question. Um, you know, the plugins, just the amount of plugins that you can um, do pretty much anything you want with. Um, there's just a, an entire like huge infrastructure, um, you know, built on WordPress already. And when you, when you hop over to these other, these page builders who are pretty much marketed around, it's easy and look, it's pretty. It's pretty and it's easy. You know, you'll have a pretty website and you don't need to know anything. You know, there's page builders on WordPress too. And, you know, if you're going to pay for, for Webflow, you might as well pay for um, a builder, whatever builder you want to use on WordPress anyway. And then, you know, you're still going to have all the functionality you need to make any SEO change you ever need to make. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I, I can't, I don't know the exact details of Webflow, so I can't really speak to what exactly uh, you'd be missing out on. Maybe they have everything, you know, maybe Webflow allows you to adjust everything. I still wouldn't use it because um, I would have to relearn everything instead of just doing it on WordPress where I know how to do everything. And you'd be lacking like the plugin support, you know, all the third party developers making plugins for whatever that comes along. And, um, you know, just all that stuff. It's just, uh, as far as scaling goes, uh, might as well just stick with uh, WordPress the way I see it. Anything to add on that, Nick? Yeah, and scaling too. I mean, you know, there's it's it's going to be hard not to find somebody at any given point that knows how to work on WordPress, right? Versus some of these more obscure things where they've got less functionality, then uh, yeah, we're running into issues. 
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.